Uh, tell us about the tights you wore in the Manchester derby. Oh. Wow. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good question. Um, well, I was coming back from a hamstring injury and I think it would have been in the, the winter and I think the physios had said, you know, I trained, I used to always train in in that and it just felt better with my hamstrings and it wasn't until, and obviously I was warming up in long pants and it wasn't until I actually took the tracks in palms down, I could hear a noise, I could hear, oh, you know, a little, oh, are those? <laughs> oh, and it was like, oh, and then it was like all the whistles when I come onto the pitch. But um, yeah, it was just because I was coming back from a hamstring injury, really, and I just wanted to keep them warm. But looking back, maybe I should have just stuck with wintergreen and DP. <laughs> it's, no- it's quite normal now, isn't it? No one would bat an eyelid today. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, this is a, he won't so appreciate me saying it, but after that happened, my dad, who played veterans football, uh, wore a pair of my mum's tights to football. <laughs> it was like, well, Giggsy did it. So this yeah, is fine. Trailblazer. Is yeah. this when you had your owls band, Sam? It had been around I'd, that I'd period. I'd love to have seen Maisie get some tights on over them cut-offs. I must actually admit, I did wear a pair of my mum's tights through the winter. Not, not obviously... Not, when, not, when you were playing football? No, no, is, this, is this just for a laugh? <laughs> when, when I was a kid, playing Sunday League for, for Boundary Park Juniors. Yeah? Uh, yeah, just it's same, same thing, just to... Get a little bit of warmth, keep warmth in your legs. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's a first. Uh, next one. And there's sort of follow-up questions to this because everything about this is absolutely bizarre. So we're playing Aston Villa. We're losing 1-0. Peter Schmeichel's in goal. All of this is a bit odd already. We get a free kick and you strike the ball at the same uh, time yeah. as David Beckham. How did you both not end up slightly injured? How did the ball still hit the target? Whose goal would it have been if it had gone in, whose idea was it? And it just, it just seems mad. Like everything you think about it, it just seems mad. I honestly do not know what happened. I, I can't remember <laughs> if said, if we both said you have it or which was highly unlikely if it was Bex. And I just thought, I'm going to have it. I, honestly, I don't know. But it was an unbelievable strike, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it was. was like it was amazing. corner, wasn't it? Or, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was flying in. Yeah. Well, it would have been my goal for a start because I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> so I, never took, I never took any free kicks after we came to the team, so I would have claimed it most definitely. Yeah, <laughs> it, just, it just seems so weird that that happened. Um, we have both gone off celebrating. Bex would have 100% gone off celebrating. We've both gone that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just split. Um, did you talk about it afterwards and say, maybe we should try that again? Because it was a great strike. Yeah, we just laughed at, laughed at the end of it, but... It was weird. That was weird. And I haven't got an explanation for it. The Bex might have, but I really haven't. I can't remember if one of us said we'll run over it or I honestly do not know. What was it like for you when your role changed when Sir Alex retired and David Moyes came in and you became a, a sort of a player coach? Did you feel you had to adapt your relationships with players? Yeah, it was a little bit different. I mean, I was already sort of... I wouldn't say distancing myself, but I was always um, more expert. I mean, I was 39, 40. So, you know, did I have anything in common with, you know, the younger players? Not really. Um, but obviously we're in the dressing room, you're still teammates. And it was difficult. I, it was something that I really, I was on my pro license actually in Turkey. And uh, when uh, David Moyes rang me and asked uh, to come on the coach, and I thought, but this could be my last season. I really want to concentrate on my last season. But I also realised that it could be my next step. So I took it. But I was actually really a player. I didn't really get involved with... Well, I didn't take one session of coaching because I was playing. You can't. Um, I would be involved in the meetings, um, especially early on for training. But even then, that got uh, difficult because, you know, you're coming in obviously an hour and a half before, potentially... And I had a routine where you're getting ready for training. So even that was, was, was getting more and more difficult. So it was, all right. yeah, my relationship with players didn't change. It was just I would come down from that meeting and they would say, what are we doing today? That, would, that, that was the only thing. I'd say, we're running, lads. We're running. He's, he's run, he, we're running. He's running us. Leap test again. Oh, I'm not asking you. I'm not asking you. You never tell us the truth. You never tell us the truth. <laughs> 
<laughs> what about uh, for the four games where you were manager? Yeah. What was that experience um, like for you? No, uh, amazing experience. Amazing. You know, you're... Um, and one really that made my mind up that I wanted to become a manager. I would say up until then I was still unsure and I just felt comfortable. I felt comfortable with decision making. I felt comfortable um, in that position. But um, yeah, it was a brilliant experience. Like I say, I was still doing my pro license then. But actual being in the job, having to make the decisions, all the pressure that you put yourself under, you can't, you can't prepare yourself for that. I was in the away end at Southampton for, I think it was like the last game of the season, I think. And yeah, last game, yeah. I can't remember, but there, and at, like the, 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 the atmosphere there was amazing. Uh, yeah. People were so behind your team. And that must have felt, as, as someone who's played for the club for, for so many years, to then be the manager and have that support must have been very special. Yeah, I mean, you know, the... In- <laughs> We all know United fans away from home are unbelievable. Um, and in that game, we didn't play well first half, but we played really well in the second half. And we could have we could have nicked it. We could have been two or three down at half time. Then second half, we we should have won. So I think the game and also recognising it had been a difficult season, and we want to end, end it on a high. So I think it was, and yeah, um, the, the team played well. Are you quite glad in a way? Obviously, nobody would have been glad that Sir Alex retired, but it gives you another uh, experience uh, to be led by uh, in Louis van Gaal and David Moyes, of course, because you probably wouldn't have had th- that difference uh, before going into your own management career, but um, you-, you had the difference of the different managers by then. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely right. Um, different approach, um, different people, different personalities. Obviously, I had different international managers, but that's only, uh, you know, obviously a short space of time. But I, that's why I always talk about Louis, really, regarding my coaching, because I'm actually two years in the meetings, responsibility. Um, and I talk so fondly of him because that was really my first coaching uh, role. Whereas when you're playing, um, when you're playing, you're not really taking any, not, you, you, you don't know the preparation. You don't know what the manager's seen on the videos, you know, players get seven or eight minutes of watching the opposition but the coaching staff will watch hours and hours so that is completely different it's completely different even though you know you worked under a manager um, for so long it was more sort of the man management and the different things that Sir Alex would do that I've picked up on whereas with Louis obviously I've seen firsthand uh, different systems why you play the different systems um, the reasons for this and reasons for that so yeah it was a, it was a really good experience. 